between the morning show and the noon show, uh, photojournalist Megan Neely and I jumped in the car. And we actually took a field trip down to Keaton Beach, and we shot some video that we want to show you. This video shows the Gulf of Mexico. Look at the water. It is completely still right now, and that is not what we expected to see. We expected to see some choppy conditions. Uh, don't let that fool you, though, because the National Hurricane Center says this is ground zero. Keaton B. says this is where we're probably going to see a ground swell or a, a, a tidal swell of 15 to 20 feet. The homes around there were built for this. They, they're on stilts, but fortunately, it was a ghost town at Keaton Beach. Everybody had evacuated. We talked to the, the, the very last people who were about to leave. They said that they were on their way out just as, as quickly as uh, they, they finished cooking some food. They, coincidentally, lost two cars in the last hurricane. And back up, I want to drive home the point. This area, this will be the third hurricane, major hurricane, that they have seen here within the last 13 months. This is a community that's really tired of hunkering down and waiting for this storm to pass. Uh, but this is a major one. And we're going to be writing this out all afternoon right here live on News 6. For right now, we are live in the city of Perry in Taylor County. Eric Sandoval getting results. News 6. Back to you. Oh, that's Eric. All right. Thank you, Eric.